Good morning and welcome to another episode of Inside the Ropes with Coach Mario. Coach Mario, owner and head coach of Warriors Pride Boxing Academy here in Miami, Florida. How are you guys doing? It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Miami. It's nice and uh, breezy. Uh, basically, a, a, a perf picture perfect day to come to the park and walk my dog for a little while then go back to my errands and everything that I have to do today and later on train some of my fighters, all right? But anyway, I wanted to touch on something that uh, that is is uh, something I, I should have addressed. And, and number one, I like to admit when I'm wrong. And I did that immediately after the fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Okay, I admit I was wrong. Now I'm gonna tell you something. Why did I choose Devin Haney to beat uh, Ryan Garcia. Okay, so these are some of the reasons why I chose Devin Haney to beat Ryan Garcia, all right? Number one, uh, Devin Haney was undefeated. Number two, Devin Haney is a disciplined fighter. Number three, he is committed and focused to his training. Number four, he made weight. Number five, He's a person that actually has fought better opposition than Ryan Garcia. He has never quit. Ryan Garcia quit against uh, Tank Davis. And uh, the behavior, the behavior of Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia were, was completely opposite. The behavior of Devin Haney was professional, uh, thorough, uh, perfect training, uh, you know, focused, laser-like focused, while Ryan Garcia, on the other hand, was completely, it was uh, lunacy. It was lunacy. Everything he posted on the media, on social media, uh, you know, his comments, his off-the-wall comments, his crazy controversial comments about everything that's been going on, his drinking binges before the fight, his not training properly. You know, all these other factors were the reason why I chose Devin Haney. Am I a fan of Devin Haney? Am I a fan of Ryan Garcia? No, I'm not a fan of none of those guys. I'm not a fan of Devin Haney. I'm not a fan of Ryan Garcia. I analyze fights as they come along. And when you analyze fights, you go on with the reality, all right? Was there a possibility that Ryan Garcia could knock uh, Devin Haney out if he Catches him with one of that with a lead hand. Yes, there's always a possibility. But you know, you stack everything together. If you're a smart person, if you're not a fanatic, if you're not a fanatic, I guarantee you, whoever picked, whoever picked Ryan Garcia to win based on everything that was going on doesn't know shit about boxing. All right? If you pick Ryan Garcia, and now you're saying, oh, oh. Uh, Yo, oh, you look at that. It's going to age. It's going to age well, you know. You know, it's going to age like milk, blah, blah, blah. All this other shit you're saying. Did you really pick Ryan Garcia? Based on what? Based on what? Look at the odds. You know, Ryan Garcia was plus 800. He was the, the total underdog. Nobody saw him winning because of his antics. He's been, he's admitted to being drunk. Before the fight, drinking every day, you know, smoking grass, you know, this is going to catch up to him. All right, he got over now because he's young, 25 years old. I remember when I was in the Marine Corps, you know, I we wouldn't sleep on a weekend. We would go out and party all weekend long. We would drive up to New York City from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, hang out, non no sleep, guys. A few hours, maybe. Drive, you know, 10 hours from uh, Campbell Jew, North Carolina to New York City, spend the weekend there, go party, you know, go to the clubs, all this other shit, come back, drive back to Lejeune on a Sunday, and then, you know, get up at 0430, that's 430 a.m. for those guys that never served a day in their lives, you know, and run four or five miles. You know, some of us will be puking while running. All right? When you're young, you can do this shit. It's got actually going to catch up to Ryan Garcia. He thinks he's a, a phenom. He thinks he's fucking somebody special that you can get away with, with, 
doing this shit. Well, he got away with it with uh, Devin Haney. He got away with it with Devin Haney. He got lucky. All right? Don't tell me now that you knew he was going to win. Based on what? That shows that you're a fanboy. You're a fanboy. If he chose Ryan Garcia to win based on a nothing tangible, just on your opinion, oh, you know, he's fast hitting the bag. That shows me you're a fanboy. So when you make a comment on this channel, you know, please specify why you chose Ryan Garcia based on everything I've said. And you know what? You're going to have no answer. You're going to have no answer because there's no one with a little bit of, of damn common sense that would choose Ryan Garcia to win this fight. That's why it was such a great upset. If you have the power, if you have that speed and power, and you have a weak chain, you, you factor all these things together, you have a shot. That's what happened. Devin Haney had the wrong boxing plan, uh, strategy. Uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, was able to connect that lead hook over and over again. Devin Haney's defense was terrible. And I'm going to tell you something else. Like I've said here many, many times, Devin Haney's overrated. However, I was picking him because he was a more disciplined fighter. He had fought better opposition. You know, he was not out drinking every night. He was not on a, on a drunk binge every night, smoking weed and doing all kinds of shit. You know, that's the reason why I chose him. And now some of you guys, you know, some of you fanboys are, oh, look, you were wrong. You're an idiot. You're an idiot if you pick uh, Ryan Garcia to win. You're an idiot because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That shows me you're not a knowledgeable boxing fan. You're just a fanboy. For all you fanboys making comments here, if you chose Ryan Garcia just based on your emotions, you're a fanboy. If you choose Devin Haney just based on emotions, you're a Devin Haney fanboy. If you choose any other fighter, Subriel Matias, just based on emotions and patriotism and all this shit, you're a fanboy of Matias. That's not what I do here, guys. What I do here is I analyze, you know, fights. All right? So, is there an upset? Yes. Is it the biggest upset? Like some people are saying, you're an idiot. You don't know anything about boxing. You say this is the biggest upset ever. You're just repeating shit like parrots. All right? How can you compare Jim Blampley trying to get some... Uh, you know, uh, some time in the media saying this was even greater upset than the one Buster Douglas gave Mike Tyson. Are you kidding me? Are you comparing Mike Tyson to Devin Haney? <laughs> A monster like Mike Tyson to Devin Haney? Pillow fisted Devin Haney? Come on, guys. Get real. What's the future for Ryan Garcia? I'm going to tell you what the future is. He didn't have the balls to, uh, to make weight. He cheated. In my opinion, that is cheating when you don't make weight and you, you go overweight. He had a shot of making a world title, become a, a world champion, and that excuse that he doesn't care about championship. You know what's going to happen? He's never going to go into the uh, International Box Boxing Hall of Fame. He doesn't give a shit. You know why? Because he's a brat. Because they, all he's interested is, interested is in money. Look at his dad's attitude. You know, that shows you this kid has had no discipline. Zero discipline. You know, his coaches got lucky with him. Do you think there was something, some strategy, special strategy that his corner had in order for uh, Ryan Garcia to beat uh, Devin Haney? No, he didn't. Well, what was the strategy, bro? What was it? What was it that corner did right? It was what... The Devin Haney's corner did wrong. They should have boxed him, not fight him inside the ring, not fight him in the center of the ring, guys. That was Haney's mistake. Now, I'm going to tell you two things. Number one, Devin Haney is not going to be the same fighter after this. He's been exposed, like I said before. And a lot of you guys that are you know, Devin Haney fans 
and even knowledgeable Devin Haney fans. I'm talking about the knowledgeable Devin, Devin Haney fans, which we had a few debates just talking about, you know, um, Matias versus Devin Haney. You say, no, he's going to outbox him. There you go, guys. I was right. If Matias, if Matias would have faced Devin Haney on Saturday night, he would have knocked him out in less than five rounds. He would have been out. However, I, I think that maybe Devin Haney would have said, you know what? I'm going to stay away from Matias. Maybe it would have lasted a little bit longer, but I, I still don't see it. Because Devin Haney can't hurt you. He has no power. Devin Haney, you know, uh, has a weak chain. You know, so I, you can't you can't really gauge the power of Ryan Garcia. Because Ryan Garcia hasn't fought top guys. Which top guys has he fought? Besides, uh, you know, Tank and Devin Haney. That's it. Devin, uh, Tank Davis, he quit against Tank Davis. Now he's blaming around the weight. There's always going to be blame going around. He he blames everybody. And one of the things, another things that I really don't like about Ryan Garcia, you know, is the way he expresses himself about God and Jesus and everything else. He's being blasphemous when he mentions the name of God and then next second he starts cursing. So he's not he's not somebody that's walking, you know, as a Christian. All right, but I'm a professional what I do. I've been doing this for many decades and I can tell right now that um, if he continues this path, Ryan Garcia continues this path, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna have an ending just like Mike Tyson did. Cause Mike Di Tyson was a nut, you know, Mike Tyson was a nut case, you know. And uh, if you don't take the sport seriously, and you just rely on your youth and your abilities and your speed and all that other stuff, then, you know, it's going to catch up to you. There's going to come a place in time where all those things that you think you're getting away with right now are going to catch up to you. And that's what I think is going to happen to Ryan Garcia. Is he going to stay at 140? No, because he's not disciplined. He's not disciplined enough to make weight. He's going to go to 147, pick and choose. Now, he's going to make a shitload of money. Because now, you know, he's a superstar. He actually hit the jackpot, you know, and he went forward and he fought. But how long can you maintain this undisciplined kid who really has mental problems? And don't tell me he doesn't have mental problems. This kid has mental issues. He's got a mental health issue. And whoever says, oh, crazy as a fox. Nah, man, this guy, you know, this guy, there's something wrong with this guy. There's something really wrong with this guy. So I'm going to tell you something. If he continues this path, he's going to be exposed also. And there's two things he can do. Uh, have discipline. Go back to fu fundamentals, you know, and concentrate in training or become a, a, you know, a loose cannon like he is right now. All right. And now he thinks he's in top of the world. He is in top of the world because of this victory. But in all honesty, I do give him credit for, for beating uh, Devin Haney, but I give Devin Haney more credit. And you know why? Because he made weight. Because he, uh, you know, played by the rules. All right? And I'm not a Devin Haney fan. I'm not a Devin Haney fan. And this, might, this fight might have cost Devin Haney his career, man. He's been exposed. All right? Like I said many, many times in this program. Devin Haney, I think he's a little overrated. I think he's good, but he's not pound for pound. And that is my opinion, guys. And apparently I was proven right on Saturday night. All right. Let me tell you something. When I saw the fight uh, and I saw, you know, how everything was transpiring and I saw the, the first round and then I saw like after the fifth, sixth round, things started going uh, Ryan Garcia's way. You know, I was excited. I said, oh, man, this is a good, good fight. Oh, my God. I even woke up my wife. Hey, look, look, look. <clears throat> Ryan Garcia knocked this guy down. What a shocker. So I love boxing, guys. I love when things like this happen. And it adds more drama to the sport. And it brings more eyes to the sport. It brings more media attention to the sport, which is great for the sport. All right. So Ryan Garcia is great for the sport. Now, is he doing himself a favor 
behaving this way? No, he's not, guys. And it's going to catch up to him. He's 25 years old now. But five years down the line, I don't know where he's going to be at. I mean, this is this is a, a real problem, guys. This is a real problem. But anyway, I just wanted to focus on that. For all you guys that are, you know, savoring uh, Ryan Garcia's win and posting on this channel saying, Oh, no, you don't know. Look what happened, blah, blah, blah. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. Because if you chose Ryan Garcia based on just emotions... You're not a real, you're not a real, you're not a real knowledgeable boxing fan, guys. They're not. You're not a real knowledgeable boxing fans. All right, guys. Well, anyway, uh, I'm at the park. I'm going to go back, uh, walk back home with my dog. Uh, it's a great, great, beautiful day here. Let's see what happens in the future. As far as uh, Suriel Matias, um, I just can't wait for that battle fight. Now it seems that uh, Pitbull Cruz is going to be fighting Rayo Valenzuela. That's going to be a good one. And that's going to be a test for Pitbull Cruz. That's going to be a real test for Pitbull Cruz. Let's see, let's see if he's all hype or he's a real deal. All right, guys? Well, anyway, God bless you all and peace.